guys thank you so much for tuning into today's video if you are new welcome it's always a pleasure to have you here i would love for you to stick around though so go ahead and hit that subscribe button now if you love skincare self-care and spiritual care just as much as i do i have literally been dealing with migraines every day for a little over a year now ever since i had my daughter a year ago my body has been so out of whack that I literally do not know what to do anymore and that's including migraines now my mother also suffers from them so at first I did think it was kind of hereditary but I started to notice that I'm getting more sporadic um, migraines I'll have cluster headaches and, and you know I didn't really get it diagnosed yet but I just know I've noticed a big difference ever since I had my daughter last year so I've been taking it upon myself to look up different remedies and treatments for migraines that I can do right here at home without having to pop a thousand pills or go see my doctor every other week all right so let's go ahead and get into these tips now so my first tip is to chug water as soon as you get up migraines may be a result of you being dehydrated so simply chugging lots of water as soon as you get up is going to fill your body up it's going to get that water rushing through your blood and everything so that it's not so much stress you know you, you know what I'm trying to say drink some water I find that when I drink water as soon as I get up uh, when I'm working out and things like that I don't have as many migraines in the morning okay so fill your body up with water lemon water is even better and I believe that's a really really great start all right my next tip is to try some yoga or meditation yes guys yoga I myself have just started doing yoga maybe a month I'm doing this three three week retreat I can't even talk today on Beachbody and I've been doing yoga I've been meditating and not only for my migraines but just for my stress levels and all that good stuff but yes especially for migraines I do it I incorporate it in my morning workouts okay I have to insert some type of yoga and stretching and mindfulness into my workout routines because I find that it really does help with the management of my migraines when you're stretching and getting the blood flowing and getting your body moving like it releases all that good stuff in, inside of you and, and meditation is just very helpful to help you breathe through the pain and help you breathe through the stress and really focus on a time when you weren't dealing with any pain or any migraines okay that's a really great technique to get your mind off of the pain for a second okay so yeah definitely try some yoga and meditation my third tip is to drink some warm water and himalayan pink salt yes it has to be himalayan pink salt i don't know why i just know that i've been doing tons of research on it after i kept seeing it pop up for migraine relief so i had to get it a try i had some sitting in my cabinet i actually did it today guys when i was filming this video and i had some extra salt water you know left over i went ahead and chugged it and my headache was just starting to come seriously and i drank that um, pink salt you know water and guys I don't have a headache at all like nothing guys just just nothing like and I really think I'm going to start using this one more often because I do use it sometimes for um, a, like a salt water flush it's really good for that as well but no guys next time try some pink water pink water next time try some pink Himalayan salt and water warm water and the salt just has some really great properties that's supposed to like soothe from the inside out. So I'm really praying that this is something that can hopefully work for uh, for a long time coming, okay? Tip number four is to use some type of cold or hot compress. It works, guys. Now this is very helpful if you're dealing with your migraines while you're at home and you can treat it while you're at home. Say you're in the middle of a migraine, this is the perfect time to pull out a cold towel or, uh, or a warm towel, okay? And place it wherever the pain is, whether it's your temples, whether it's your neck, whether it's your forehead, you know, some, some of those areas really need it the most. So trying some type of cold or hot compress and just really sit through it, really let it do its work, okay? And you can find something like that, like the mask that I have, you can find it right on Amazon. And say if your migraine is like sinus induced or like it's just sporadic and it's kind of just everywhere, that full mask, guys, oh my God, is so soothing, especially when it's warm. I find that both warm and cold helps for me. It's just all about my preference um, that day. But guys, that whole mask just goes over your face. You can literally sleep in it. You can lay down with it and really let it do its work and yes yeah, the coolness can help soothe the whole face and help with inflammation and pain and things like that while the heat 
can help you relax and help with throbbing and things like that so yeah, so yeah it's up to you please give it a try guys and I would love to know how it works out for you all right tip number five is to take a hot shower all right this is probably the easiest way to get instant relief I noticed that every time um, I have a headache I just hop right into the shower and you know your mind is taken off you know you're probably washing off and things like that especially when I put my whole head in the shower and just let the you know the hot water just hit me and just hit my head my temples my neck when I say as soon as I step out of that shower my headache is usually gone now I will honestly say well for me at least that it's not really long term sometimes it is but I just remember the other night when I had a really bad, bad migraine I hopped in a shower and yes it was gone right away but probably an hour later my head was still throbbing and I end up having to take um, a couple Advil so uh, maybe it can work for you long term but yeah definitely don't knock it until you jump in and you really see the relief it has just on your temples and on the pressure of your body like yeah the shower can just really help to release everything and I want to recommend using a shower bomb something that's you know relaxing something with lavender eucalyptus lemongrass something like that that's just really soothing and it's going to be soothing to the nose and the temples and all that stuff too so a nice hot shower with shower bombs okay and I will have a video on shower bombs coming up all right so take a hot right. shower tip number six is to try reflex allergy now again someone dealing with migraines I've been doing tons of research and tips you know for the longest time now and I noticed that reflexology was probably the number one thing that kept showing up so once I finally started to really do it and really get into it a couple months ago guys like I can honestly say this is no joke I'm a firm believer that the body can like heal itself it can help itself out okay so sometimes we really just have to look from within or just utilize what we already have what God has already given us so so when you're really massaging and you're focusing on those pressure points and those active nerves you know that are connected to certain pain you know areas of the body when you're massaging you're releasing those pressure points you're, you're releasing the, the pressure I to say from those areas again that are linked to different pains in the body so I'm no doctor I'm no reflexologist I'm just saying I did some research and I found a couple of different techniques and massages that work for me there's tons of different ones there's tons for the neck the feet through the belly through the back but I just noticed um, a couple hand techniques that I can easily do on myself has been really effective reflexology guys check it out let me know how it works out for you but yeah just another way to sort of stay away from pills or the doctor okay all right tip number seven is to try some ginger tea here's another tip that I've been hearing about that I just started doing now I believe tea alone can be very effective but I think the ginger just takes it up a notch and it's supposed to have some really good properties to fight off migraines so next time you have a migraine or you feel Feel one coming on just make you a nice hot um, cup of ginger tea and if you don't have ginger tea just kind of use what I did use any tea that you have and mix it with some ground ginger okay it's pretty much the same thing and yeah it's still very effective so go ahead and give that a try as Next well tip. tip number eight is to log your episodes log your migraines if you're dealing with constant migraines like I do it's really best to log them log them throughout the day log them exactly when it starts exactly when it stops how long it lasted and what you were doing when it started or stopped okay so for me I tend to get slight headaches in the morning but not as bad because I work out in the morning I do yoga and I drink most of my water in the morning but literally every day at around 4 30 5 o'clock is when it really really starts to hit me so honestly by that time I'm not really drinking any water anymore you know I pretty much drunk my water for the day I probably I'm usually burned out or just tired from tending and running after the kids all day so yeah my headaches usually start around 5 p.m. and that's how I knew that I start to get my flare-ups around 5 p.m. because I started to write them down and what I always write is I was just finished lunch or you know just finished up some homework or you know something like that and I noticed that okay mine are sometimes triggered by stress or me doing too much or you know me moving around too fast okay so 
I learned all that about myself just by continually logging and keeping a journal for myself, for my mag for my migraines. So yeah, again, by five o'clock, I try to do all of those little things even before so that I can prevent it from, from coming in the first place. So I would drink extra water, I would hop in the shower, I would make some tea, I would do some massages if I have to, like something like I know it's coming, I know it's gonna come and I'm trying to, you know, again, prevent that from, from starting in the first place. So, and that just brings me to my next tip, which is to see a doctor. So when you go to see a doctor about migraines, they're almost certainly gonna ask you if you've been logging, if you know what time they start and stop, all that good stuff. And it's just really important and a lot easier to already have it logged, okay? You can show your doctor, hey, this is where it stops, this is where it starts and maybe you guys can figure out together something that works for you. I haven't been to the doctor yet for my migraines. I've been trying to just sort of treat up myself, but best believe if it starts to get to that point, I will see my doctor about it. And it's really okay to see a doctor, guys, okay? I know we're probably trying to stay away from the pills, but it's really, really nothing wrong with taking an Advil or an Excedrin. I keep them right here on my desk, just in case if I have to pop two of them. Okay, sometimes you just need a little extra help, okay? It's nothing wrong with that, but I do find it unhealthy to, if you're taking crazy amounts of Advils, if you're taking crazy amounts of pain relief type of medicines like yeah it's definitely time to see a doctor when you when it starts to get to that point just go see your doctor to find out what's really going on and something that's going to work for you all right last but not least my last tip is to keep a migraine kit everything you'll need for a flare-up been in a nice convenient bag on your nightstand under your bed something is easily accessible and just keep all of your essentials in it so you're not running around the house making your headache worse trying to find whatever it is that you need for your migraine for me i keep everything in there it's, um even the salt even the ginger like i just keep it all because we don't really use that cooking wise anyway so i keep it in my bag for me so that when i'm making tea or if I'm just needed some salt water, I already know where it is. I already know where my face mask is. I already know where my essential oils are. Um, another tip is to use some type of essential oils around the temples or when you're massaging. I just really think the aromas and the benefits from it can can help as well. So, so keep a migraine kit, find a really cute bag or something to keep all of your stuff in. And guys, you're gonna thank me later that you'll have uh, a nice bag, convenient bag for you already ready to go for whatever it is that you need for these migraines all right all right and that's all that I have for today those are 10 tips that can help with migraines right now that can give you some relief right now it's also important to recognize your triggers for migraines so like for me it's bright lights um, loud music me yelling okay as soon as I yell I get an instant headache as soon as I drink alcohol I get an instant headache yes alcohol even a glass of wine I will get a headache so I always have to do it in moderation it's a, it's up to us to find out what those triggers are so that we can stay away from them make sure you're getting adequate sleep make sure you're eating a healthy diet and just drinking lots of lots of water and we can fight this one migraine at a time all right you guys again that's all i have for this video hopefully this was helpful thank you so much for sticking around to the end hopefully you give these tips a try if not all of them please let me know what's working for you if there's some that i might have missed again i'm dealing with them too guys so i need some tips i need some ideas i need some help too all right i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye